let's let's get the cat out of the bag, man. Let's go ahead and talk about that. If you go, don't come back in the dough. Now I don't even know the name of that song. I wish I could think of the name of that song. I mean, the people just a dance. I gotta catch you the two. If I you go, if the person go out the dough, don't come back. Somebody else will come in the dough. Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for clicking on this channel. And for first time visitors, my name is Vanessa. I want to add my input to something that came up in my feed yesterday concerning Deion Sanders, who was head coach at Jackson State University, but now he has accepted a job at Colorado State University. And there's a lot of people upset about it. And I just want to add some input here. You all come on in to the video and you all don't forget to subscribe and share the video and hit the like button if you I don't understand some of the people's sentiments of being upset. I'm hearing the people talking about he, uh, reading some of the comments, he promised to be mentors to our children and look after our children, help to come up of the children. Children's first mentors should be their parents. The same people who conceived them or the same people who adopted them or fostered them and raised them. Those are children's first mentors. And then what says the man won't come back if he chooses to come back? You close the whole door on him? What says that when he goes to Colorado University that he's not opening doors there? Maybe he can help your young people from the next location. You don't know what will come out of something. I don't understand the pushback that he's getting behind some people saying he betrayed us. He left us. <sighs> Y'all... This mentality won't stop. Many people do that to other people. You take a fishing hook and you just toss it and you want to snatch somebody else's life and pull them towards you and keep them. So that you can try to tell them when to go, when not to go, what to say, what not to say, when to stand, when not to stand. You want to control somebody else's life. That's all that's about, that's control. Now, it's funny how you believe the Lord when he said to come here, but you don't believe me when I tell you the Lord may tell me to do otherwise. It's like my God is talking to you about me. I don't think he works like that. Congratulate him. Be happy for what he's doing. You ain't put him where he is. That man have made his career. Yes, people have helped him along. He came and helped you along and brought a nugget. Take the nugget and turn it to a rock. Don't ever be so confident in somebody else's abilities and have so much assurance with another human being. People follow him because of his celebrity status. Following people of prominence and being a celebrity. Being impressed with your human make. Putting a human in a place of an idol. That's all it boils down to, making him an idol in your life, in your thoughts. No human should be an idol. Let Jesus be glorified. Plant the seeds of righteousness, not the seed of a human. Same thing I heard about this young man from Alabama a couple of years ago. Very young man, maybe 21 years old, if he was that old, started a school and invited young men to the school because he wanted to help young men be more manly or masculine. And here in one of his interviews, he said that women or mothers was coming to him saying, thank you for opening this school, our boys need this. Why? Why would the mothers be saying our boys need this? Why? From that young man. It's because of a rehearsed, continual cycle of the same thinking mentality that refused to change. And if you tell women that, some of us women, and I'm not talking about no particular race or woman, some of the women that they get the spiraling up and strong and his shoulders and attitude. Ah, well, that's when the children are small. This is my son, daughter. This is my child. And you don't tell me. And now the child tall as you. This what our kids need. We need this. It's the thinking. Don't want to turn around. Refuse to yield to what's right. Listen to the wisdom of women who's speaking out in righteousness. They all over the internet, even if they ain't in that church you go to. Ask God to send laborers across your path. He'll send them because he know you. He know what you're thinking. He know what you have need of. Just ask for laborers of righteousness to come across your path and then be ready to listen. 
because it's going to hurt your feelings when you hear righteousness because it don't agree with what you're talking about. And all that getting, get some understanding on change and where change really starts. I thought it was good. Okay. That was a moment, wasn't it? I love you. You don't have to believe it, but I do love you. You should be telling him, thank you, and not for being your savior. You're just a human helping a human. He came, he went, say thank you.